Okay, I want to talk to you about um, a couple of things. The first thing is line stacking, and the second thing I want to talk to you about is uh, using the zero contour uh, method to uh, ensure that the machine cuts things out in the right order for you. So if we look at line stacking to begin with, um, if you are putting together a, a, de a net or a development for a cube, um, let's just start to draw that. So we've got grid lock on. Um, if I've got my my square six by six, if I just draw them apart to start with to show you. So you've got two squares. If I now butt one square up against the other, like that, that line in the middle, although you can only see one line, there's actually two lines there because they're they're stacked on top of each other. Now if you were printing that out uh, just as a picture, it would be absolutely fine. Um, but the machine, whether you send it to the laser cutter or the knife cutter or the router, uh, the machine will see two lines. So what will happen is it will actually cut out those lines twice. So creating a net using the shapes tool is really not uh, a very good idea because you can stack your lines. So the best way to do this uh, is actually, uh, let's just delete those. It's just to draw it with lines. Then you know you only got one line. So I'm going to go across there six, down six, down six, up six. So you create it in this way. No, I'm not putting on tabs here, I'm just uh, drawing the net as it would be without the tabs. Okay, and then what we need to do, we need to identify different coloured lines. Now, the other good thing about using lines rather than shapes is, if I want to create a different colour for score lines, so if that one needs to be score, I can just select that line. Now, if I drawn it as a square, it would select the whole lot and I'd have to try and explode those to uh, to make them separate. So let's just do red for score. Now to make it easier I can select all of those but if you select the next one what happens is you lose the selection on there so you just keep your finger on shift and then select the lines take my finger off shift and change them to red and there we go they're all red Okay, uh, what you can do as well, let's just get rid of this. Let's use the delete tool here just to get rid of that. If you, uh, if you make a, a drawing, the machine cuts it out in the order that you've drawn the lines. So if I was to draw uh, a line across here, then I would come down here and draw a line across here, then come up here and draw a line down there. And then come up here, draw a line down there. Now I've drawn this uh, this box by drawing the top line first, then the bottom one, and then the two side ones. Now, the, if you're cutting that out on the laser cutter or any of the, the cam machines, it will cut it out in that particular order. Now that's okay, um, but if you're doing a large production run, um, when the cutter has to move from one part of the drawing to the other, that will waste time. So what you can do, you can use the contour tool uh, to actually create a contour on the line. So if I set my contour spacing to zero, like so, basically what that means is when I contour that, it's just going to draw a line on top of it. So if I just change the colour to show you, so let's choose red, and if I contour that, Okay, it's just drawn a red line. So now when the machine cuts out that red line, it will just go all the way around like that. Now we've actually stacked our lines there, haven't we? So we've, we've got black lines underneath. So you need to try and get those black lines out. So there is a, a nifty w little way you can do this. Um, so I've just done the last undo. So I've gone back to my original drawing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a handle. So I'm just going to get uh, the circle tool. And I'm going to draw... A circle down here. I should have done that in black. I'm just going to change that just so we don't confuse matters. Okay. So I'm going to select the whole lot and I'm going to group it. 
So edit group. Now when I click on the circle, which is my handle, I actually select the square as well. Okay, so if I go back to my contour, uh, on zero still, okay, uh, I'm on red, and if I contour my square there, and if I want to remove that black square underneath, I know that it's actually attached onto this handle. So I can either, one of two things, I can either just delete the handle, which will automatically delete the square underneath the, the red square, or, or just to prove that it's there, I can just move that out of the way and there's my original square that I've just extracted so back onto the delete and let's just delete those and that's a zero contour